create my own data labels have been on my top list since forever. And now it's possible for some visuals. Let me show you. So this is what we're going to do. We have the bar chart and here you have the number of customers per year month. This is 41 is the number of customers and 22% is the percentage of all. All of them, both measures in one data label. It's so, so, so cool. Let me show you. So the only thing that you need to do is to create a new measure for the data label that you're going to use. Right, so now that we have the, um, the label, let me show you where to find the setting. If you go to the formatting pane, turn the data labels on, it'll show you the data labels that you have on the original measure. But if you dig deep into these, there are values, and then you have custom label. I'm going to show you the overflow test, what it does. And then here you just data label for bar chart. And there you have it. Oh, I think I forgot the end of the parentheses. So how neat is this? Now let me show you because you have this overflow text. And this is in case this gets too small. You see that it disappears with overflow text. It can come back. It depends on how small you do. It's just still unreadable, unfortunately. In this case, we would have to do perhaps vertical and then in the outer end. But because it does have place, oh my God, Power BI. <laughs> okay. Managing data labels is a mess, but this is a step in the right direction. I've actually tried to do, um, I would like to have 42 customers and line break and then put the percentage. Unitar does not work, a normal line feed, line break does not work. So I'm not sure how to do it. If you figure out, please let me know because that would be very cool. The next thing I would like to do obviously is to have different fonts and different, you know, bolts and yeah, but it's an improvement anyway. So I hope you enjoy this trick. And I will see you again in the next video.